Hi, welcome back. Well, we are here with the executive director of REC, Eddie Garcia, and he's here to tell us a little bit about his organization and how it can change your life and the way you do things. Welcome to the show, Eddie. Glad to have you here. So first of all, uh, tell me what REC is, R-E-C. Tell me what that is. Hi, Elaine. Thanks for having us on here. REC stands for Regenerative Education Centers. Okay. Regenerative Education Centers are centers that we have set up Hawaii and here in California, Southern California, and they serve as a point of demonstration for innovative technology ah. that sort of promotes regenerative lifestyles. Okay. And we talk about regenerative, we talk about uh, agricultural usually, um, and we're talking about things that leave a place better than what they started with ah. to actually regenerate the soil as growing food. It's often used in that term, but we also kind of focus a little bit more on regenerative solutions as well as just beyond just agriculture. And you actually have some real solutions that folks can come up with. Some, some are, are not so um, mainstream, but still very effective, yes? <laughs> yeah, we do have a few things going. It's about pointing some solutions out rather than all the doom and the gloom. Right. Let's find some answers and get people to work work with us with it. Okay, and so one of those solutions is, is using the beetle larvae, right? Tell me about that. Yeah, we're asked about this a lot. <laughs> um, so we've basically taken a type of beetle larva and we started out using it to compost wood chips and food scraps for some of the uh, regenerative agriculture stuff that we do. Turns out that they actually ate their way through a styrofoam container and we realized that they were able to ingest styrofoam and actually turn it back into an organic material. Really? Yeah, so we've developed a process. It's not simply the beetle larva, it's actually mycelium, it's different creatures as well as earthworms, mm -hmm. and there's a whole process that we've developed that we can actually bring it from a styrofoam cup or a surfboard, for instance, right. and bring it full circle into a rich organic matter that wow. we can actually grow other materials with. That's incredible. Yeah, it's That's a pretty amazing, the implications perhaps it can be one of the solutions to take on some of the problems that are facing us. And there's some things that we can do as individuals, correct? What are some habits that we can kind of break or start to start to make that, that uh, well, are helpful? So let's think about when we get coffee every morning. Okay. Quite a bit of people are headed to a coffee shop. Sure. 500 million coffee cups a day, disposable coffee cups. 500 million 500 million a day. A day. 500 million lids wow. and 500 million straws is an average statistic oh. for how much actual styrofoam is being produced just by one simple habit mm -hmm. that we can change by bringing our own cup oh, or using wow. a stainless steel straw for instance sure. um, and so educating people and letting them know that some of the little steps that we can make that'll make huge change mm -hmm. uh, that's part of what we do and what we share with people and so what are some of the ways you go about educating folks uh, aside from of course coming here and talking and sharing this but but of course you definitely want to make sure that you're getting the word out to people. What are some of the different ways you do so, this? So um, we do a lot of hands-on demonstration workshops. We do farm-to-table dinners. We also, as we're going through the process of demonstrating and experimenting with some of these innovative ideas, we share them and we document them. Mm. We make a series of short films that we set out there and get out to the public so that we can make people aware. Right. So we can basically serve local communities with the demonstration centers, we're actually, which are targeted to go all over the world, mm -hmm. and they, they can make changes by the things they actually see happening, and they can, um, if they can't get to one of our centers, they can watch the films that we make, and that can helpfully inspire them and help them. To make those changes, and so where can we find the films, because so that, that way, because you've got some really great footage. So I believe some of them may be played on your show later on, yes. but there are different places to find them. The best way to go about it is to contact us at recenters.org. Okay. That's our nonprofit um, website. Mm -hmm and you can get a hold of us there. Oh, perfect, very good, very good. And with that being said, so uh, I think the, the idea is for us to really start to think about ways to make sure, like you said, that we're replenishing the earth and not just taking from it, but make, you know, we have to make sure that we're leaving something behind for generations to come, and this is a great way to start, is that correct? Yeah, I think so. I think just making people aware, we have key fundamental um, sort of things that we keep repeating ourselves in, and it's basically patience, observation, and consistency. Mm. And a lot of people say, I don't have a green thumb, I have a black thumb. Right, well, it's right. not true, everybody has a green thumb. Okay. And we can all be that change that we want to see. Right, well how can people support your organization? They can support our organization by going to our website. We have a donation button on there. Oh, good. They can uh, come to beach cleanups and styrofoam drives that we do. 
They can um, come to some of the fundraisers that we hold and take part in a farm to table dinner workshops ah. and watch some of our film releases. Sure. Yeah, that'll be great. And and of course they can find out your entire schedule just by visiting your website, right? Yeah, they can that's that's the easiest way to go about what we have going on. Okay. Here. We have a fundraiser coming up in November on the fourth, and that is gonna be at the Viewpoint Brewery uh, in Del Mar. All right. In North County here? Yes, yes, perfect, very good. All right, so, def and is that event, do we need tickets to go to, to that event? Uh, that will be a ticketed event, good. but you could probably also show up at that event. Mm -hmm. I think details will be made a little bit clearer right. on our uh, website, which is recenters.org. Okay, perfect, very good. Well, Eddie, thank you so much, and thank you for educating us. I'm so excited about this. This is really good. Can't wait to see some of the films. Cool, right on. Well, thanks for having us. All I'm right. Really stoked we'll see you again soon, right? Yeah, we will. Absolutely. Sure.